So this was a heavily requested review, Tom Ford Costa Azura Eau de Parfum. We're going to cover many things in this review, including the scent profile, the performance, the versatility, and of course, we're gonna take it to the streets to see what women think of this fragrance. Let's get into this review. So the scent profile on this one right here is going to be extremely fresh and clean, like a marine aquatic Mediterranean style of fragrance. So this fragrance opens up pretty interesting with a combination of agarwood, seaweed, and cardamom, which is going to give it a slightly woody, spicy vibe, and as it dries down, you're going to get a pop of citruses with a combination of lemon and mandarin. And then eventually you're going to get a clean woody base with a nice dose of vetiver with a slightly smoky incense. The best way to describe this fragrance is it comes off like a woody, citrus, slightly smoky kind of fragrance. But at the same time, it does have a Mediterranean aquatic vibe behind it. It doesn't smell like a Dolce & Gabbana. It doesn't smell like an Aqua di Gio. It doesn't smell like a shower gel or deodorant. This is a very unique, fresh and clean kind of fragrance when you compared to a lot of the other ones on the market today. It does have a natural smelling vibe to it and it also comes off classy, elegant, refined, very put together. And in my opinion, this is actually a very unisex scent. It doesn't leave feminine or masculine. I do believe any gender is able to wear this fragrance. I also believe this is the best starter Tom Ford considering the price point because this is part of the signature line, not the private blend line. The private blend line is like $300 plus. While this one comes off a little bit more affordable even though it's still expensive. At the same time, if you're not a fan of the Noir Extreme line because you find it to be a bit too spicy, a bit too sweet, and you wanted something fresh and clean and more versatile, I believe Tom Ford Costa Azura is probably the best starter Tom Ford on the market today. So again, it's going to be a fresh and clean kind of scent that smells extremely natural, bright citrus with a nice combination of woods. This one literally transports you to the Mediterranean. It doesn't smell like an Aqua di Gio, a Dolce & Gabbana, or like a deodorant or shower gel. It is a very unique take on aquatic fragrances. It leans extremely unisex. I believe both genders are able to wear this fragrance and I believe it's the best starter Tom Ford considering the price point and that it's a fresh and clean mass appealing kind of scent. When it comes to performance, I'm actually pretty impressed, especially for a fresh fragrance. I got easily eight hours of longevity with pretty decent projection. For the first two hours, this one leaves a nice scent trail and sillage. I got easily a foot and a half to two feet of projection. For the next three hours, it is going to die down to about a foot of projection and around that five to seven hour mark, it does kind of die down as far as the strength of projection, but you are able to pick up nuance from the fragrance and from the seven to eight hour mark it is kind of faded so when it comes to performance i got a solid seven to eight hours of longevity pretty decent projection for the first few hours and for a fresh fragrance that's pretty impressive when it comes to versatility this one gets a solid 10 out of 10 it's in the s tier category and the s is for signature you can wear this one in the fall winter summer and spring it's fresh and clean and woody that you are able to wear for any season but in my opinion this one truly shines in the spring and summer but you are able to wear it for cooler weather you could definitely wear this one to the office it comes off fresh and clean very professional as well and very elegant i do believe it's a bit too classy for the gym but you could still wear it because it's fresh and clean. You could dress this one up casually or you could dress it up with a suit and tie, even a tuxedo. It comes off extremely elegant and classy. You could wear this one on a date. You could wear this one to the club. So as far as versatility, this one gets a solid 10 out of 10. It's in the S tier category and the S is for signature. And of course, guys, we took it to the streets to see what women think of this fragrance. Let's play the footage. I'm sorry to disturb you. I'm a fragrance influencer. Can I get your opinion on this popular men's fragrance real quick? Thank you so much. You give us your honest opinion. Smells really good. Smells really good? So average or above average for you? Above average. Above yeah. average, awesome. It's really good. It's really good. So from one to 10, what would you give it as a score? Mm, I would say good eight. Eight, okay. So that's pretty good. So the fragrance we showed you is gonna be Tom Ford Costa Azura Eau de Parfum. Ooh, it's awesome, really good. it's really good. It's like gasoline kind of smell, wow. I feel like. It's really good. Awesome, thank you so much. Have a good day, okay? Yeah. Sorry to disturb you. I'm a fragrance influencer. Can I get your opinion on this popular men's fragrance real quick? Sure. Thank you so much. You give us your honest opinion, okay? Smells great. Smells great? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so from one to 10, what would you give it as a score? 10 being the best men's fragrance? Um, smell of course, please. I would say it's like an eight. It's not too strong, but it's still like a good scent. It's a good like. scent? Yeah. Okay, what kind of man do you think of when you smell this fragrance? It's like a clean one, clean. Clean? Yeah. Okay, put together. Yeah, put together right. <laughs> awesome. So the fragrance we showed is gonna be Tom Ford Costa Azura yeah. Eau de Parfum. Okay? Thank you so much. Have a good day. You too. Yeah. Hello, how are you today? I'm a fragrance influencer. Can I get your opinion on this popular men's fragrance real quick? Will you try our bar and we'll try your fragrance? Sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> we yeah, have a sure. deal. <laughs> so you gotta okay. take your turn smelling it, okay? You give us your honest opinion about it, okay? <laughs> how do we get it? Okay. Okay. 
I feel like it's like a classic smell. Like clean, fresh. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's a good way to describe it. Yeah. One to ten. Ten being the best men's fragrance. Mm -hmm. What would you give this as a score? I forget. Seven. Seven point five. Okay, so the fragrance we showed you is going to be Tom Ford's Casa Azura. Nice. Okay. Beautiful bottle, right? Beautiful bottle. Yeah. Very sleek, classic. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. <laughs> awesome. Thank you guys so much. No yeah. Hello. How are you today? <laughs> Your eyes lit up when you saw me. I was in shock. Like, <laughs> I'm a fragrance influencer. Can I get your opinion on this popular men's fragrance, real quick? Sure. Okay, sure. Thank you so much. You can take your turn smelling it. Give us your honest opinion, okay? It smells similar to Defy Parfum by Calvin Klein. Wow, very specific. Yeah, I just came from there. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, it's good. Okay. I mean, like, what are you looking for feedback? <laughs> just honest opinions, whether you like it, don't like it, average, above average. I think I like it because it's not like crazy strong compared mm -hmm. to like normal men's perfume. That's like, fair. Okay. It's like lighter. It's lighter. How would you describe that man that wears this fragrance? If you were to describe him like a word or two. Like, I don't know. Like clean cut maybe. Clean cut? Mm -hmm. Put That's together? Yeah. Okay, so from what? I feel what? like he wears Tech. leather shoes. He wears leather shoes? <laughs> yeah, like he's not wearing sneakers. <laughs> That's yeah. fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like maybe a little bit classy, yeah. right? Would that be a good way to describe it? Yeah. Tom Snyder. Tom Snyder. Well, Tom there, Snyder? There, yeah, yeah. there is. Huh? I thought Tom, Tom was right. I don't remember. I can't remember if it's Todd or Tom. There is a guy named Tom that makes fragrances. Um, there is a Tom for it. <laughs> it is. What would you give it as a score from 1 to 10? I give it a 7. Me too. A 7? Seven. Okay, so it's good, but not the best. Yeah. Okay. So the fragrance we showed you is going to be Costa Azura by <laughs> Tom Ford. <laughs> Love. Look at you. I you knew it was a Tom. The bottle's beautiful. The yeah, bottle is really gorgeous. Like I love that. It yeah. has like really this nice honey, details. It's like very light. It's very in it's very right now. Mid-century modern inspired. Is it refillable? This one is not. They should make it refillable. There, a lot of companies have been transitioning to it, but this is a, like an older bottle. Yeah. So they haven't really like got to that yet. The texture's nice. It's very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But a lot I'm a fragrance influencer. Can I get your opinion on this popular men's fragrance? Thank you so much. It smells good. It smells good? Yeah. Is it average or above average for you? It's, it's above average. Above average from one to 10, 10 being the best men's fragrance. What would you give it as a score? Like eight. Eight, awesome. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Oh. See ya. Oh, and the fragrance is going to be Tom Ford Casa Azura. Have you smelled this before? Awesome. Thank you so much. Have a good day, okay? Yeah. So as you can see from the footage, guys, this one got multiple eights, and I believe the lowest score was a seven. So nobody was like blown away by this fragrance. At the same time, nobody was offended by this fragrance either. And I think to me that it's perfect for this style of fragrance because it's not really trying to be a seductive kind of fragrance like a Jumpo Gautier Lemao Elixir or Versace Eros. It comes off clean, elegant, classy, sophisticated. The person I imagine wearing this fragrance wants something fresh and clean, inoffensive, but if you do notice them, you're going to compliment them on it. So my overall, assessment i do believe this gets a thumbs up it might not be the most seductive fragrance on the market but at the same time i do believe you're going to get compliments with this one so what's my final verdict on tom ford's costa azura eau de parfum let's put the bottle down and get serious so when it comes to the scent profile, I'm truly impressed by this one because it comes off fresh and clean, elegant, classy, sophisticated. It is aquatic, but it doesn't smell like the other aquatic fragrances on the market. So it is a bit of a unique style of fragrance when it comes to this category. When it comes to performance, I'm truly impressed with this fragrance. I get a solid seven to eight hours of longevity with pretty decent projection for the first few hours. When it comes to versatility, this one gets a solid 10 out of 10. You can work for any situation, any occasion, any season, any reason. When it comes to compliments and women's reactions, I do believe this one gets a thumbs up it got multiple eights so my final verdict is this if you're planning to get tom ford costa azura eau de parfum i believe it's a fantastic choice and in my opinion the best starter tom ford fragrance on the market due to the fact that it's fresh and clean and mass appealing at the same time as part of the signature line which is going to be more affordable than the private blend offerings so hope you guys enjoyed my review of tom ford's costa azura eau de parfum if you did give it a thumbs up leave a comment below what video you want to see next make sure to subscribe if you want to follow me on social media i'll leave it right there for you guys have a good day.